Amid rising tensions on the Korean Peninsula, South Korea has successfully tested its long-range surface-to-air missile, or LSAM, in a major leap in counter-missile technology. Our defense correspondent Kim hyun sung reports. Over South Korea's western coast, a mock missile roars into the sky at supersonic speed. Moments later, some 200 kilometers away, another missile ignites and gives chase. The second missile rapidly closes the gap until... This is South Korea's long-range surface-to-air missile system, known as LSAM, a key component of the country's missile defense shield. It aims to shoot down North Korea's ballistic missiles in the case of an attack. The LSAM defense boasts a stunning accuracy using homegrown cutting-edge precision tracker and kill vehicle. This enables it to track and destroy missiles, moving at supersonic speeds high up in the atmosphere. The South Korean Agency for Defense Development unveiled the LSAM to the press for the first time in trials this week. Onlookers, including journalists and Defense Minister Lee jong sop held their breath as they watched. The test was a success. As you just saw, the intercepting missile directly hit the target missile exactly on the spot that we had originally planned. Based on the success of this test, we are on track to complete the development phase in a timely manner. Defense Minister Lee jong sop hailed this technology as the core of the core in South Korea's stratified missile defense system. Development of the LSAM is scheduled for completion next year, followed by a production run in 2025. Full deployment within South Korea's military is expected before the close of the decade. But the Agency for Defense Development isn't resting on its laurels. Research and development is underway on the LSAM-2, an upgraded model with the capability to target supersonic missiles even higher in the sky. This comes as part of an ongoing commitment to innovate and evolve defense technologies to protect against potential threats from North Korea. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.